Well, Mary, since you want to build on the property, we should go walk it. You're skipping a conversation. There's like a, quite a few <laughs> conversations that are being skipped here. One, property has to be paid off. Two, the property has to be divided. After Christine left, I guess she signed over her property to Cody and Robin. And I don't know what's happening with that. And I haven't been involved in like the decision-making process of it. Hey friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It is Thursday, November 16th, 2023. I hope all of you are having a fantastic day. It's kind of windy here. So if you hear the windowing rattling, that's why. Let's talk about this brand new clip that came out for Sister Wives. It's Mary Brown confronting Cody and Robin about Coyote Pass and how Cody has, in Mary's view, taken more of the property than is allowed to him. And due to the fact that he's married to Robin, Robin and Cody are getting a bigger share of the property than everyone else. This confrontation includes Mary wondering how she's only ending up with two acres out of 14 acres when there's four people and Cody and Robin are ending up with eight acres. So I'll dive into this topic and just kind of explain to you the property as it sits today and how all of this is convoluted because honestly, they never subdivided. The property is not in five lots, it's in four lots. Uh, Cody wanted to subdivide and yet he still hasn't subdivided. There's absolutely no building permits for this property. There is absolutely no building happening at this property. Nobody is building there. And Janelle is actually on property by herself, but Mary is not. It's weird. So let's dive into this topic of Mary confronting Cody and Robin about Coyote Pass. Before we do, can you please give me uh, give this video a thumbs up? Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and make sure to ring the bell by clicking on it so you never miss a video. So first off, currently at present date, there are four lots on Coyote Pass. According to property records, which are in Coconino County and viewable to the public, Cody is the owner, along with Robin, of multiple properties. And so the Browns own lots J through G. And when they purchase the lots, it's just over 14 acres. So Cody and Janelle own a lot F together. That is 2.42 acres. And that lot originally had a loan out on it. Lot G was owned by Cody and Robin, and that is 2.42 acres. And that lot also had a loan out against it. So the two front lots in Coyote Pass were the ones that needed to be paid off. The ones that we they owned free and clear were actually the two larger lots. The lot that has Mary's name on it is the one that is right square in the middle. It's lot H. It has 4.48 acres and Janelle is also on this lot. I don't know why Janelle would be on a lot along with Mary other than to say that maybe because she's only on a 2.42 acre one. I don't know. And then Cody and Robin also have the lot that's bigger that has the pond on it and that is currently 5.16 acres and that was the lot that was owned by christine neither the lot j or h ever had loans out on them so they were owned previously free and clear now lots g and f were paid off in june at this time there has been no subdivision and the way that they have it set up for the show is that they want to place a lot he's claiming that the lot that he got back from Christine was this corner lot that has the pond on it. That was not the lot he got from Christine. The lot that he got from Christine was that big 5.16 acre lot. He's just trying to confuse Mary throughout this argument. So I just wanted to give you that as a place to start. So when Christine got her house, when she left, she said, well, I'll trade that with you for 
my share in Coyote Pass. So here's the deal. <laughs> We're still doing five lots, okay? okay. So, Christine's just out. So you, And who, we, who gets the other one? Me. Christine, when she left the family, if you remember, she had her house that she owned and she had received a portion of money from the family to buy the house for her down payment. But a year before she left, her house was actually refinanced and Cody actually took his name off of the deed at Christine's home. I don't know why Cody removed himself from both the mortgage and the deed, but when he did that, he essentially removed any ownership to the property. So when Christine left, the only thing that she owned with the family was her five acre lot that she was a co-owner of with Cody. That lot had no loan on it. So Cody got that five acre lot she deeded it to Robin and Cody. And so then Robin got that lot too. So Cody is talking about how they're going to do five lots, yet there isn't five lots to do. And at the current place, the way that they own property, he's trying to take actual acreage away from Mary. Mary's on the property with 4.48 acres, and he's trying to tell her that she's gonna go out on a two acre two acre property. Essentially what he does is he swaps Mary into a two acre lot and he gives Janelle the lot that was triple owned by Cody, Janelle and Mary. And he removes Mary from that lot and then puts Mary on a small two acre lot. Janelle gets a large lot. Robin gets a large lot. Cody gets the Cody family lot and the Christine lot of this new sub subdivision. But mind you, that lot five was originally owned by Christine. Lot one is the lot that I kind of always figured would sort of be the family lot. And Christine left, she's gone, so I'll own lot number three, which was gonna be her lot. Because of things that have gone on in the past with the family, I'm not gonna give the family lot to any wife. I don't know how Cody can have these conversations in his mind about what these lots are when the lots are not even subdivided. And all this is doing is sort of tricking Mary into believing that she has less property than she has. And I'm sure that this was all done because he was afraid she was going to leave. And so he didn't want to leave her with much of anything. That's my opinion. And frankly, what he's doing is swindling money from Mary because she put a huge amount of money down on that property to buy it. It never had a loan out against it. And now he's trying to say, no, you don't own that. And he also used Janelle and then said, Janelle, Mary helped buy this property and Janelle can have it. It's because I'm sure he believed at the time that Janelle was going to stay with him and that he would have Cody, he, that he would maintain a relationship with Janelle and Robin. And so he was going to give Janelle and Robin the biggest properties because he still was in a relationship with them. But at the end of the day, Mary is the one that put the money down for that. On top of that, don't forget that Mary also gave her equity to Cody and Robin for their house. So Cody owes a lot of money for Mary, but what he's trying to do here is steal money from her. And that's where the fight begins. Okay, so you get four, Robin gets four, so you guys get eight together. No, it's two acre lots. Yeah two acre lots yeah, so, and then four acre lots. Right, so if you're getting two and two, that's four. It seems like he's already made the decision and I don't think that's fair because regardless of the fact that he and I haven't had a relationship for you know eight or 10 years or however long it's been, I'm still part of the family and I still financially put into it. And so I deserve to have some of the property. Mary's absolutely right that Cody and Robin would end up with over eight acres, she would have two acres, Janelle would get four acres. It doesn't compute. If there's four people that all contributed financially to the property, they should each be given about three acres a piece, just over three acres each. Because if you divided, you know, 12 by four, it's three, there's some change there between them because it's not an easy division, right? So each person should be getting three acres. But the problem with Cody and Robin is that they're married and they're considered a married couple. And so Cody's asking everyone to allow him to have extra property, even though he's not singly contributing money for that. He's trying to get money out of something and take money that's rightfully belonging to Janelle and to Mary and take it for himself. It's, it's theft, it's fraud. And this is why Janelle has been so uncomfortable about 
Coyote Pass on the show because she said that we have to pay it off. I'm concerned about what's going to happen with that. I'm concerned about getting my equity out, getting my estate out of this. And she has every right to feel concerned about that because Cody is trying to steal from them, both Janelle and from Mary. And Robin is benefiting from that because she's the legal wife of Cody. And not just what he decides I'm worthy of. This is just weird to me. You two get eight together, four and four. Janelle gets four and I get two. You know, I have said to Cody several times, well, I'm not really quite sure how come we're not dividing this equally. You know what I mean? Well, he's like, well, you're going to still get your four acres. And I'm like, okay, but there's 14 acres. Like, I think it's time that we have a real appraisal and decide what the value is and what's fair for all four of us. Under the current structure of the way that it's divided or the way that he proposes that it would be divided, Janelle is getting more than what she would theoretically deserve. Each of them would get 3.25 acres because it's 14 acres, right? And he's giving her four and he's giving Mary two. He's taking acreage from Mary and giving it to her and then not giving Mary anything. He's taking acreage from her. Mary gets two acres when she should be getting 3.25 acres. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but financially, acreage is expensive. They bought these lots total for $820,000. The smaller lots were only $180,000. The bigger lots were $300,000. He's taking a huge amount of money from Mary by doing this. Mary has more reason to be upset about this than Janelle, and it bothers me a little bit that up until now, Janelle has never publicly said, well, I don't understand why it's divided this way. She was fine with those four, four acres, so long as Mary didn't say anything, right? And now she's like, well, now we need to get a full appraisal so that everyone gets the money that they're, you know, they're owed. Cody wanted to put Mary on a tiny piece of lot because he doesn't care or isn't concerned about her. Not to mention he keeps talking about this stupid pond. It's not a pond. It's not a pond. It's not a pond. It's a drainage lot. It's empty 99% of the time. It has prairie dog poop in it and animal droppings in it. You don't go swimming in it. And on top of that, it has an easement. It has the pipeline on it. It's so divided so poorly under these five lots because of they're on a pipeline that's owned by the, the National Forest. The pipeline, like oil, yeah, that is owned by them. They cannot build under certain restrictions on the property that he claims is going to be the family lot and that the family is going to use a pond. It's not a pond. It's a drainage lot. It's a drainage pool. Have you ever been in a drainage like pond? You don't go swimming in that. So for him to act like this is some sort of like pristine property, it's, it's gross. We have drainage ponds in the subdivision I live in and ducks and geese are in there all the time. It's disgusting. And half the time it's got no water in it. Mary has one child and I have 18 children and I wanted to keep the lot with the pond to be for the whole family because the whole family kind of understands that Mary doesn't want to really, you know, this is from living with her. She doesn't really want to share resources. This is hysterical. Cody says that Mary doesn't want to share her resources when Mary gave up her legal marriage because Cody forced her so that he could marry Robin and adopt her children. When Mary is like, the one that would share her home and use her home for all family gatherings. When Mary is the one sticking around for the longest, he's making it seem like Mary's greedy when it's not true. He's the one that doesn't want to share his resources. The other hysterical part of this is that Cody's like, I have 18 children. And I'm like, okay, Cody, so you've got six children of Janelle's that want nothing to do with you. Leon wants nothing to do with you. And most of, Janelle, of Christine's kids want nothing to do with you and only one of christine's kids actually lives in flagstaff so there are 13 kids that don't want anything to do with coyote pass that you want nothing to do with and you have five kids with robin you don't have 18 kids that you can claim anymore cody half of them want nothing to do with you that's what i would say to cody it also doesn't explain why he gets the lot that he's claiming was christine's lot which wasn't his lot so why can't Mary have the two lots together and get her four acres? Why does he need both? He doesn't. He doesn't need both, but he wants both. That's that's it. I just think that he's 
trying to swindle Mary and he's doesn't want to share his resources. He wants them for himself. He's acting like this pond is some sort of pristine property, which it isn't. And Mary has every right to confront him about this. And the fact that as it stands today, that property is still not subdivided. And as it stands today, Mary and Janelle remain on these parcels and they are still four parcels. And Cody and Robin still have more acreage than everyone else. And Janelle has more acreage than Mary is it's I don't know. It's kind of wild to me that that he's a he's a sociopath or a psychopath or a narcissist. I'll, I'll never understand this man. But the fact that he can willingly defraud people so blatantly on television and these women have been so conditioned to not be able to push back or speak up because of the retaliation that they'll receive or, you know, the fear that they have from what Cody will do or the fear from what's happened within the cult. I mean, a lot of them in many ways probably feel paralyzed because at the end of the day, Cody will do whatever he wants. He's not going to take their their needs or wants into consideration. He wants Mary to, to stay there because he needs her money, but he doesn't want to give Mary what she deserves or what she's due. He owes her so much money and he's still trying to steal from her. So when people say to me, who do you think has been the most abused as far as the wives? 100% Mary. Because even in this moment, when he is get, getting so much money from her, so many resources from her, he is still trying to steal from her. And even when she's confronting him about it, he's gaslighting her and making her think that she's the one that's being difficult. She's the one that's trying to take from other people. She's the one that's basically not being good and that he's got more kids that he needs to worry about when 13 of those kids want nothing to do with him. I, I'm inter I'll be interested to see what more comes out from this conversation. We know that Mary will eventually tell Cody to buzz off. And I still wonder why this property is just sitting there with nothing happening. And what are they going to do with it? They need to sell it. Uh, and those women need to get their equity and cut ties with him completely. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye, guys.